you face your own, mor own mortality. You were very ill, weren't you, a while back? I was, Ray. Um, I will never forget the year of 2016. And I was touring, actually, at the time with a Cirque production. So these days it's more kind of music and entertainment that I've been doing. So in 2016, cutting a long story short, I was actually performing in South Africa, my place of birth. And within the first two months, um, out of the blue, I, I woke up one morning and really struggled to breathe. And I'm thinking, what the heck is this going on here? Anyway, one of my children needed to go to the bathroom. And I got up to take her to the bathroom. And that's the last I know. Next thing, I have paramedics around me and went into cardiac arrest, believe it or not, wow. and got rushed to, um, to intensive care. And this is... I, from memory, this was in uh, Durban at the time in South Africa. And, yeah, they discovered severe clotting in my lungs, um, a PE they call it, pulmonary embolism. Wow. And it's still a mystery up to today on how that occurred, um, but I'm very lucky to be alive. And I, since then I look at life so differently. Did so, it change so your life, Meryl? Did it all give a different perspective? It really did, Ray. It, it, it also made me realise don't sweat the small stuff. Anything can happen at any time. And it's not even an age thing these days, you know. Any time, any age, any stage of your life, anything can happen, whether you're fit, healthy, um, young. We just need to appreciate life, um, appreciate the obstacles, and learn from them as well. Because now I look at life in such a different way. I have an open perspective, open eyes, more kindness, more love. Uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. Oh, it's a lovely attitude Meryl and uh, with you that's interesting I mean maybe you were touring hey. the circus and you uh, uh, were tremendously I know in New Zealand uh, uh, very popular and uh, loved and so you're a ring mistress of I was yes first time they had a, um, a female to be uh, center stage there as a ring mistress not a ring master how did you get involved so this was with the Weber Brothers Circus and we've got quite a close family connection with them from, from years ago before the circus even started. So we'd been talking about it over the years about me um, being a part of it. My brother actually uh, coordinated the world tour um, that it was all about. So he was the, the, the main man and brains behind taking this overseas and really creating a show-stopping tour and international um, craze, if you could call it. Wow. And so because I've had children, it was a bit of a juggle. Am I going to do it? Should we wait a bit longer? And then it just happened at the right time where they started the tour, asked me to be a part of it. I said, why not? You know, we only live once. Let's lap it up. The kids came with me and off we went. Were they homeschooled or you? They were homeschooled. But again, they was younger then, so it wasn't too... You know, when I first went, uh, Diaz wasn't even one yet and Breeze was going on three. So the homeschooling wasn't a big thing then. More than anything, it was a life experience and let's go and have some fun together. Um, and yeah, and we toured, uh, had sold out shows across the whole of South Africa for 10 months. Wow. Uh, then had a little break, came back to New Zealand, then went to Korea um, to go and do this tour and came back and actually toured New Zealand. You were in Korea, I didn't know that. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, so that was from memory 2017. So the what following year after South Korea. Africa, we did Korea. Korea. Yeah. It was a smaller stint then, not as long, but um, what an experience. It was winter time, so it was very cold, <laughs> but um, it was it was a great time. And then in New Zealand, I mean, you were living in a trailer then or a caravan? And we had caravans, between caravans, hotels. We had some amazing sponsors in South Africa, so we were put up in beautiful hotels and um, <clears throat> sponsored by uh, one of the casinos over there. Then uh, Korea, we also had some uh, pretty interesting accommodation. And then coming yeah. back to New Zealand, it was the first time I really experienced circus life and caravans and traveling from place to place in your home on wheels. <laughs> what a wonderful experience and for, the, <laughs> yes. and for the children as well. That's a great, uh, <clears throat> a great experience, truly uh, a gypsy life, yeah. I mean. But, and Meryl, um, and so what, what have you been doing lately? You've been, uh, obviously we know I mean, for the, some of the listeners, Meryl is always a, a, a tremendous draw at our Toast Markborough event uh, at my vineyard. And, and the last I saw Meryl was literally just a few months ago. And, and she's, uh, if any of you get an opportunity to 
Ear Merrill live, you jump at it. She's born to be on the set, stunning. I mean, absolutely, you put on <laughs> a great show. And, and music has always been a big love of yours, hasn't it, Merrill? I love performing at Tirohana. It's my favorite vineyard, I might add. Um, music is a huge passion. I love to perform, I love to sing, I love to entertain, I love to songwrite, which now that we're in isolation, I'm trying to do a little bit of that. Oh, um, so, yeah, so when I, when I took a little break from the circus, it was all about coming back, focusing again on motherhood and getting my kiddies settled into school. Um, and then I was, I've been gigging a lot. I, you know, just do different events, um, all sorts, whether it's, um, you know, for corporate function or businesses, Christmas parties, vineyards, um, weddings, etc. So I love, I love, love, love to perform, and I think it's rubbing off on my kitties, who I think are going to be little performers too. Ah, so they're, they're following in their uh, mum's footsteps. And uh... For more information on audio dramatizations, please visit www.tribeworld.com. Keep the dream alive.